Hi developers, subscribers and friends. Welcome to the Force Developer channel. My name is Stefan Bertosz and in today's video I would like to share some lessons learned for batch inserts into database in Java. So I would like to show two cases, one with um, Hibernate and second one with plain JDBC batch um, and Spring Boot as well. So um, to somehow simulate this case, I installed locally Oracle free XE database and as well created uh, the schema and so on. And um, for a better real time scenario, I'm using Kaggle, which is a platform where you can play around with data and so on. Uh, but what I was using there is a data set for online payment fraud detection, which you can download for free and play around. It's a quite big CSV file around 500 megabytes. And this one we will use um, for our scenario to insert this into the database in batches. So let's go to the code. And there is a small readme file. Uh, let's start first with creating a table. So after I check the data set, I created the exactly same file, almost one to one, at least I added one ID and one sequence, which will be used by Oracle. So let's use this create statement and create a new table in database. In Oracle, the best tool for that is SQL developer. So let's leverage SQL developer and let's create the table, table created. Let's create the sequence. So let's create the sequence. Sequence created, great. We can go to IDA and let me show bits of the application. So the um, application was generated by the Spring Initializer by using the standard Spring Boot Starter. Additionally, Spring Data, JDBC and Data JPA Starter for Hibernate obviously Oracle driver, OpenCSV for uh, reading the CSV and Lombok and some model mapper for mapping. Um, in the, our configuration file, we have a standard data source and some additional uh, configuration, which some of them I will disable right now just to see the difference later on. So the scene is set, let's go to the code. So as I said, this is a standard Spring Boot application. Um, one speciality is this is not a web application, but a mm, command line or console one, and it implements command line runner. And when the application starts, we will mm, use the run interface and call our data service process data. The one parameter is the path to the file. So the file is obviously on some disk and we will pass this in our YAML configuration file so we know which file to process. So if we go into the uh, process data service, what is going on is we open the file, we are using CSV reader, open CSV to read the file, we are skipping the first line and then line by line we are creating a payment objects by passing the parameters which were passed from CSV line. Then we are adding this to list and if we are at 10,000 elements in this list, we are basically uh, adding a batch insert or hibernate insert and trying to push everything in, in one go to database. Then we clear the list and repeat until the list is not empty. So how does the batch insert look like? This is more or less a plain uh, JDBC batch insert. So we are having um, insert into table and specifying all the columns. And for uh, for the values, we are using placeholders. One difference is we are having the next while for the Oracle sequence. And um, by opening the connection and using the prepared statement, we then initialize the connection and uh, starting the insert and we will loop through the whole list, which we have 10,000 uh, elements. 
setting all of these parameters, adding it to batch, and add at the end executing prepare statement execute batch. And this should push all the data in batch. We are also measuring the time uh, for the um, method execution. So here we will print the time. So let's run it. And after compilation, we should see some logs which are important for us. So we are processing the first 10,000 and we see batch insert with the standard and hibernate. So you can see that there is a quite a big uh, difference yeah, between the numbers and hibernate insert is pretty, pretty slow. And because we have a lot of uh, rows in the data, I will not run it through. I will stop it now and show you some hints. So what we can do, we can play around a bit with the configuration. For example, we can uncomment the logging level for the Hikari, which is a connection pool. So we see how many connections are used. We can uncomment the Hibernate uh, properties and we can basically specify that Hibernate will generate some statistics. We can specify the batch size and some other parameters so it's more obvious what is going on and let's try again so after the startup we already see some statistics and those are for example for for the hibernate and you see that it can batch uh, something yeah but even with this uh, support of batching uh, the hibernate is pretty much slower like almost five times slower than the batch insert let let me stop it and let's show so basically the batch insert is one three two milliseconds and hibernate insert is six five five and for the same set of 10,000 records. And basically Hibernate then batches this into some batches. Yeah? So it says it spent, uh, it executed 200 batches. Multiply 50. Then it makes sense that it's 10,000. But anyway, it is pretty much slow. So basically, uh, what is my suggestion is, if you have uh, you know um, application which needs to be fast and handle big batches, Hibernate is not the best choice. But maybe consider to rewrite the code into JDBC template with with uh, with um, batch update or uh, low level. Uh, a prepared statement uh, execute batch because that would be faster why because hibernate is always uh, using its own magic and um, own logic how to deal with the batches it's always adding some overhead to to work with the entities and so on but if you do this via the plain jdbc it will be always faster so that is more or less uh, the end and moral of the story for normal things hibernate is great it simplifies all of the stuff but if you need to have a much more performance system uh, with uh, a bigger batches and so on for that one you should definitely use uh, basically um, jdbc batch or something else not hibernate definitely if we would want to see how long long does it take, we can also comment out the Hibernate inserts. So you will see how fast and how many uh, records are uh, executed in this long batch. So let's try it again.
and we are basically pushing 10,000 records in 120 plus milliseconds which is great yeah. and the file is really really big so I think it's really worth to reconsider what to use for the batch inserts and large batches yeah and that's all folks uh, thank you for watching the video hope to learn something new when you see the difference between the JDBC batch and Hibernate batch of course you could do some more tweakings on the Hibernate but I don't think it would be that fast um, yeah so thank you click on the like button if you like and subscribe if you like and there will be also some more videos on similar topics so um, keep watching thank you bye